What is going on everybody and welcome back to the CUFO YouTube channel where we're going to be reacting to the retained and release list and we've just got some season ticket news as well so we're going to get into all of this in this video but yes Carl retained the release list obviously he came out last week um, a lot of you will have already seen it of course um, but there is some talking points in there and um, Paul Simpson's mentioned it a lot as well since it came out so we've definitely got some things to talk about and we'll start then with the end of the loan contracts the ones that are going back to their parent club which of course is everybody who was on loan so we've got Josh Coyote, Jack Diamond, Finback, Jock Lanzen and Terry Ablade and um, the way that Simpson spoke about them said that none of them worked out I can imagine that we're not going to see any of these back um, in the club upcoming into the next season um so you know best of luck to all of them obviously a very mixed range of um how they actually went down in the end you know to look at them one by one terry blade it was a very good impact substitute for his pace unfortunately injuries just kept him out jock landerson's stay was disastrous if we're going to be perfectly honest jack diamond couldn't seem to just hit the ground running which is to be expected because he hasn't played football for that long and he has had that extended period of time out. But unfortunately, he just didn't have that consistency um, or that end product in front of goal. Which obviously will come again uh, with more regular game time. But for what we've seen, um, you know, it hasn't been um, as great as he could have. Josh Kayode, I think, has played, what, two games? Um, and ruled himself out of some games as well. Just a very strange scenario with that one. And then Finn back, probably the best of best of the bunch there. To be fair, you know, he, he had a, a good run last season with us in League Two. Um, and to be fair, he, he's looked he's looked all right when he's had opportunities. Um, when he when when he's had opportunities in the team. But again, it's just that injury concern, really, isn't it? With um, Finn back. Now looking at the release section of this now. Um, a lot of people have been saying, oh, he hasn't released this guy, he hasn't released this guy. If you are under contract, you cannot be released, okay? So, yeah, let's just get that out there because a lot of people have been going on about it and it's, you can't be released if you're under contract. But the players that have been released, uh, Josh Emmanuel, Jordan Gibson, Thomas Holly, Paul Huntington, Sean Maguire, Max Killsby, Kai Nugent and Corby Whelan. Now, if we're looking at it, no real surprises in there. Um, you know, you look at the youngsters, maybe Kilby and, and Nugent. Uh, could they have been given more of a chance? Obviously, Paul Simpson hasn't seen something in them. Um, but best wishes to them, you know, being being young lads. It can be hard to get back into it. But hopefully, um, with the loan spells that they've had, they've been pressed and they can get a contract elsewhere. Uh, Josh Emmanuel, I don't think anyone's surprised about that one. Um, he had a really good couple of first games for us, but then nothing really since that. Uh, Jordan Gibson, um, of course, our top goal scorer this season. Um, but I think we've seen the writing on the wall for this around Christmas time, to be fair. Uh, and I, I mean, on his day, fantastic player, but the consistency just wasn't there. Um, Thomas Hawley, of course, a, a bit of a, a decisive figure. I mean, as a, as, as a person, as a bloke, absolutely top quality. Any time I've ever spoke to him, he's been absolutely brilliant. Um, and, and just generally interested to be having a conversation with fans and, 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 and young players. Of course, on the pitch, there was a few mistakes. Um, but, you know, I mean, with, with the addition of Harry Lewis, Thomas Holly was always going to lose that place. Um, but I do I do think Thomas will get a League Two club quite, quite easily. Um, and it wouldn't surprise me if he then has a couple of worldies against us. Because uh, that's normally how it works. But, but all, I, I mean, all the best to all the ball, all the best to Thomas. Um, and I think, again, we all seen this one coming. Uh, Paul Huntington, again, I think a lot of people seen this one coming as well. Um, Paul Simpson has addressed the rumours um, about you know, there was a fallout and stuff and said that that didn't happen. Um, I mean, only two people know the answer to that, really, don't they? But um, Hunt, of course, very experienced. Um, very experienced player. Brings... Brings that um, ability that the other players don't. We've we've just the the array of experience he's got. But unfortunately, you know his legs had definitely gone. You know you've seen it um, a couple of times this season. But could have been a great addition in League Two. But Paul Simpson's argument that is they've got leaders elsewhere. So we'll see how that one plays out. Uh, Corby Whelan, uh, I think we've known this as soon as he wasn't registered um, months ago, which you know. 
Obviously, Paul Simpson hasn't seen something there. Um, I thought Corey Whelan was always a consistent player for us, to be fair. I don't think Corey Whelan very rarely put a foot wrong when he was called upon. Um, and I think he will be a good addition to a League 2 side as well, assuming that's the, the the way in which he goes. Of course, he's had offers in the past um, from Colchester. Um, so, you know, again, just all the best to Corey. And then finishing there with uh, Sean Maguire, who, you know, when we signed him, it was like, wow, you know, what, what a sign that is. Um, and unfortunately, he just hasn't really hit the ground running at all this season. Uh, two goals, I think it was, unless you count the the ones that he scored in the um, Cumberland Cup, which you don't really do. You. But... Um, two goals this season hasn't been hasn't been the best. I mean, it, it, I I think that Maguire would have been good um, with a, a striker like a Luke Armstrong as a, as a two up top. I think there was a lot of occasions where Maguire was pushed out wide as a winger, and it just wasn't really working. Um, but that that's just my opinion. Um, but yeah, again, just hasn't really worked out with Sean Maguire. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if if he was to go back to Ireland or whatever his plans are. Of course, that um, he's expecting the a, a child as well. So probably be looking to settle somewhere. Uh, but all the best to Sean um, in finding a new club as well. Then we got Anton Dudek there with a the new deal offered. Now it would seem that he has already uh, signed that deal. He did put on Instagram saying um, something to do with. Uh, preparing for next season or see you next season or something like that and um, was mentioned in Paul Simpson's under 21 category the other day on Radio Cumbia where he said that Jack Ellis and Dudek don't count as part of the squad because of their age um, so that would imply that he has signed the contract which is a no brainer really to be fair um, but for me I think again he would be best suited going down into the youth system um, instead of being a um you know first team player or if he is a first team player i don't think he's going to be near the start of the 11 to be perfectly honest that's just my opinion though we're looking then at the retained list and the under contract list now just before we do actually go through this uh paul simpson has very clearly stated that if he gets players in that he wants this summer some of these players should be looking for a new club. He has also stated that he doesn't want to see some of them at the club next season. So before everyone, you know, I think the excitement's finished. But before anyone's like, why has he kept this person and not released this person? It's because they are under contract. Okay, they have to. The contract is there for a reason. It's got to be, you know, bought out or whatever. But the players that are under contract then: Harry Lewis, Harrison Neal, Jack Armour, Josh Vella, Sam Lavelle, Ben Barkley, Luke Armstrong, Dylan McGeoch, Gabe Breeze, Jaden Harris, John Mellis, Jack Robinson, Jack Ellis, Taylor Charters, George Kelly, Alfie McCallum, Dan Butterworth, and Callum Guy. Now, when you look at that, you know the the under contract players. You do consider, you know, it's tough to say right now because what Paul Simpson's plans are, no, I, I have no idea. It sounds like they're already trying to be active in the transfer market, which is fantastic. Um, you know, you want the squad in early, you want them to mix together, you want them to gel together, you want to get a good dressing room like we had in the playoff campaign, you know, players like Jamie Devitt. Um, and you want, it, you, you want that sort of harmony in the team, if, that, if that's the right sort of wording for it. But, who are the players that we're looking to move on? Now, for me, someone like a Jack Ellis would be great on loan. Go get some experience. I would again say, I've said it in the past, I think Gay Breeze would be great to go out on loan as well. However, then you do need to sign two two or three goalkeepers. Um, I, I, well, well, Jaden Harris is someone that I, I would potentially move on. Um I, I think that would be, you know, I don't think it really worked out. He hasn't really been given an opportunity as well. But it's difficult because you just, you know, as it, is, is the situation with Alfie McCarmon being resolved, of course, that night out stuff and everything, is he looking to keep a player like a Dan Butterworth is injury problem? Is a Dylan McGee or Cappy under contract? You know, he hasn't really got the game time. He, he really should have because he's, he's been a brilliant player. Is he going to get that game time again next season? in League Two, um, or could he could he go to one of the newly promoted sides um, and do a job in League One? Um, maybe not. Maybe maybe he could drop into League Two and do a, do, a, do a job for someone in League Two. He's more than capable of doing it. But would he be doing it in Carlisle United? Sam Lavelle, is he someone in Paul Simpson's plans? I imagine he very much is. Um, 
but you know you don't know Ben Barkley it's all up in, apart from the ones that we signed in January it's very difficult to see which ones are to be kept for me nailed on is who who the, the players that didn't sign in January the nailed on ones Callum Guy of course absolutely massive miss last season and and I would say John Mellish as well other than that I think anybody's up up for you know the offers to come in, uh, Jack Armour may be on that list as well because of his longevity and everything at the club. Um, but we'll see in time, won't we? We will see in the next few months who will be staying and who will be going, who will be moving club, and who Carlisle will be bringing in in this rebuild that we have on and off the pitch this summer. Paul Simpson has also stated the promotion is the goal for next season, which is fantastic to hear. I. Um, can't remember the last time prior to a season that that's been our target. If you know, in in, in my time anyway, I, I can't remember a time where I've heard a manager come out and say the promotion is the target. Now I'm not saying it didn't happen. It, it you know it, it probably did back in sort of 2014 or you know 2007 or something. But in terms of you know me actually being fully up to date with everything. You know, listening to, to Paul Simpson on the radio and all, and his interviews and stuff. Uh, for me, this is the first time I can remember that a manager has very, very quickly said, right, promotion to target. I also think that this Paul Simpson we've been seeing recently in his interviews, he, he he's very, very determined to get the squad that he wants, you know. It doesn't matter if you're under contract. He, he just seems ruthless is what is the word I'm looking for. He wants the best for the club, of course he does. But, he, you know, he, he wants that team going forward and he wants that team in place. Looking at things in place then as well, we have got our season ticket information for next season. Um, this will be my fourth year with a season ticket. Um so I, I am looking forward to to that. I'm not looking forward to the fact that I have to change my seat um, or that my seat is being picked for me, um, as what it would suggest by some of the words in, in the email we received. But I'm also not looking forward to, play, to one, paying League One prices in League Two. And I'm not looking forward to the fact that the ticket price has actually went up. Um, I think this is the first ever... The the baquettes have made. I'm gonna I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Um, I for me, it's he, he he Tom came out the other week and said the ticket prices will be frozen for next season. Now he's meant match day prices will be frozen for next season. So we've all thought as season ticket holders our prices were gonna stay the same as well, and they haven't. Um, they have went up. Only by a little bit, don't get me wrong. But it still adds to the cost, you know. It adds to the monthly cost that we all have to pay and everything. Um, so that's a little bit disappointing, to be perfectly honest, um, with with you. I mean, I, mean, I think it's disappointing. I don't, know, I don't know how other people feel about that. Um, but if you are a renewal, you want to get five games saving this season. Um, instead of it was six last year, now it's five, and a, an adult renewal price will be four hundred and fourteen pound. The early bird price will be four hundred and sixty pound. So yeah, um, quite expensive. Uh, that's just for an adult. You, the, the prices are on your screen there, of course. Unless you work at Pirelli, then it's three hundred and fifty quid. Um, which well, I don't work at Pirelli, but I don't really see see why that is. A thing I obviously I understand sponsorships and the the Bobby Pirelli probably pay a premium for something like that, but um it it, it does seem a bit I'm not sure I, I I think a lot of people have said have mentioned that as well on socials that that seems a little bit unfair maybe is the word and uh, if you're on the Terrison it's three hundred and sixty pound on renewal and the early buy will be four hundred pound for you the renewal process is between the 9th of May and the 2nd of June and the early buy is between the 3rd of June and the 30th of June and then the standard will be the 1st of July to the 2nd of August and after the 2nd of August there'll be no more season ticket sales and they do not plan to sell half ticket half season tickets so there you go that is that one now if you if you're wanting to uh book online what i have i've noticed is ex 
existing season ticket holders will be able to renew through their online ticketing system under the tab reserved items so you can reserve online and then at the very end is delivery there is an app the Calais app 2024 2015 and you could get your e-ticket there um, and there's more to come out in the following months regarding this or you can pay £1.20 and you can get a season ticket card now I'll be getting a card because I don't want an e-ticket as a season ticket to be perfectly honest so I think I will be getting the card but of course slightly disappointed that the prices have went up um, and I, I think Tom could have worded the, the, the price freeze a little bit better I think a lot of people were under the um, under the idea that the, the ticket prices were to stay the same and of course you know they they, they have went up the, the season ticket prices have indeed went up in the end um no doubt i'll still be getting one absolutely don't get me wrong um but yeah a little bit disappointing that it's now an extra cost again um on top of things but that is how it goes will you be getting a season ticket if you don't have one will you be renewing it if you do have one and of course what are your reactions to the retained and release list for carla united's 2023-24 campaign which players would you be looking to sell on um the players that are under contract which players are you then looking at to say yeah i think i would try and move this player on i'd love to hear your guys opinion in the comments down below I also just want to say, last bit for me, this video has been a bit longer than I expected, but I just want to say thank you so much for 1,420 subscribers. Absolutely crazy um, to be even talking about numbers like that. Absolutely ridiculous, to be perfectly honest. Um, and we will have a special video coming um, in the coming week, so keep your eyes peeled for that it is a very exciting time for the channel moving forward into next season and a very exciting time for Carl United as well. But thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe on this video. Any support is truly appreciated. But for now, I have been CU04 and I'll see you in the next